Hey everybody, it's Richard R. Auto Diag, and today we're having a look at a Nissan Prime Star, and we've got a light on and a lack of power. All right, so I've done a code scan of the whole vehicle, and we've got heater plugs unlikely to be causing a low power, and we've got turbo charger pressure sensor, which is. 1804 we have nothing in OBD which is probably why we only have the little glow plug type light on not that one but I don't know if anyone's deleted codes so we're gonna we're gonna tackle this one first I have driven it and it does not go very well at all come on get on with all this so we'll go straight into live data, see if it says anything interesting about that boost pressure. It doesn't go well at all. Um, uh, yeah, there we go, straight away. Right, that's reading 2,500 millibar, which is, that's, that's not cool. Um, obviously that's two and a half bar. I doubt it's boosting that much because it's not even running. So I'll start it up. Uh, I suspect that is not going to change. No, not on a rev, not on anything, as you can see. Doesn't change whatsoever. Right, I guess we just go and have a look at this boost sensor. Um, this is the 1900, not the 2 litre or the 2.5, so um, I think these are remote because this will be the same as my van as well uh, there's a little remote sensor of a pipe that goes on the intake so uh, we'll get under the bonnet and have a look at that right so we are under the bonnet engine there top of the cap missing as per usual we're still at 2500 we're on the multimeter so we have the black multimeter lead into pin number two in the middle and the red in pin number three at the bottom. I uh, can't really see the colours. Is that like a grey and a black in the middle and I don't know, maybe a tan or a pink? Something like that at the bottom. And then a green and black at the top. Anyway, so we've got 4.77. And then if we come to the top plug. We have five there. Now I'm suspecting that the five will stay and the 4.7 will disappear when we unplug it. So just try and wriggle this out of the way. All right, so we are unplugged. Still got our five volts on our top green one. scan tool the scene it go open circuit and we dropped right down and then it sort of locked it at a thousand and if I come out of that one just for ease I will go into the touch the top of the pin and yeah we're at zero so there's no signal coming out of the ECU there obviously goes through the sensor and then back to the ECU so this looks like we have a sensor issue here um, I guess the only other things we could do is just in case pressure is built up and stuck in here because like a carbon deposit something weird like that we could take the clip off and um, we could manually blow into it or put a MITI vac on it and see if it does change anything uh, but apart from that, I think that's uh, going to be a boost pressure sensor there. So we'll um, we'll just quickly check that. Right, so we're plugged back in. We're back at two and a half. We've got Mitivac set up, and we're sat there at what five psi. There's no change there. Pull a vacuum on it and see if we can bring the reading down. I suspect it's maximum reading. We can't bring it down either. So I would say we've got a sensor in trouble that. 
that sort of thing so we'll get another one of them and see if we can get a sensible reading out of it right so I took the old sensor off changed it for another one and we're back in here hopefully still connected because my thing's beeping like I hit it with my uh, knee when I got in yeah Right, so we are back on it. I knocked the blooming dongle thing and the we lost uh, lost comms there for a minute. But as you, as you can see, with it plugged in now, we've gone to 1026, which sounds like a sort of a viable reading. And if we start it, a bit of a change there. So we've got some changes in readings again. And we have no thing on the on the dash anymore. I don't know if it's cleared the code itself or whether it's going to be there. No. So if we can clear this down with it running, or if it'll whinge at me. Let's the engine off. Clear codes. And we're just down to our heater plug circuit and starting it up. We're revving again. And we've got nothing back. So there we go, guys. We got a, uh, a boost pressure sensor failure on this uh, Prime Star van. Exactly the same on the Renault Traffics, Vauxhall, Vivaros. Uh, this is obviously the 1900 setup, not the 2 litre M9R or the 2.5, but. Uh, yeah, just a quick little test there to go off and uh, thanks for watching, come along for the next one.